Welcome to Dr. Jester's Runs, and I'm gonna rant about this. From Boundary into Comics, Justina Ireland tells Star Wars fans not to purchase the High Republic. I made a video about this yesterday, about how smug she is, and she is pretty much the very definition of a mediocre writer. And because, mostly because of her character being a Marisu. See what I did there? Hmm. Remember, mediocre writer doesn't mean, actually means it's factual. It's allegedly mediocre writer. See? Either way, she's smug. She has that uh, weird face that she's actually smelling her own farts. And saying, guys, mm, my farts smells like roses. Despite actually smelling like rotten onions, it smells like roses. I'm better than you, okay? I'm way better than you. Mm. <sighs> Fuck's sake, these people irritate me to no end. Star Wars, the High Republic author Justina Ireland took to Twitter to tell Star Wars fans not to purchase the High Republic. Well, that actually worked wonderfully on Battlefield 2. Ireland telling Star Wars fans not to purchase the High, uh, the High Republic comes after she recently bashed white men. Yes, she went on a tirade about how evil white men are, and how white men do not buy her shitty content. Hey, if you keep bashing people and you don't write to fit that uh, demographic, don't go and complain that said uh, demographic refuses to buy your shitty product. Simple as fucking that. Earlier this week, she took to Twitter where she wrote, quote, I guess mediocre white men are still going on and the schools. I'm still going to be on here bragging about their mediocrity as though it's hilarious anecdote instead of pure as holy read. So thanks for establishing that bias line early 2021. <laughs> End quote. In a follow-up, she added, quote, Imagine writing a 23 thread about outsmarting your nine-year-old. What a waste of perfectly gold carbon. Mm. End quote. Without even realizing, without even realizing that all her, mostly all of her tweets are in fact a waste of perfectly good carbon. What she's actually alluding here, which I suspect what she's trying to say is the carbon footprint. And I'm gonna use the same excuse on her, because her tweets are a, a very huge waste of perfectly good carbon. In fact, even of air. Anyway. Uh, her bashing of white men in general came in response to a tweet thread from a podcast host. Oh yes, this one where a guy actually was teaching his nine-year-old girl how to open a can of beans. And in fact, I approve of the method he used. He taught her that you need to be creative. You need to do it by yourself. You need to... Uh, you need to think for yourself. You need to improvise. You need to learn. A lot of the things that you have in life, you have to do it alone, without actually the help of somebody else. For instance, I've learned how to repair computers and, and assemble computers with trial and error. I, I did it all alone because I, neither I nor my family, my parents couldn't even afford to hire someone to actually do the things that I do now. And in fact, due to monetary conditions, for instance, I don't even have the conditions of actually buying a mic boom. So, what did I do? I decided to take on woodworking. So I went around in skips around and, well, I found a lot of scrap wood and I created this. I can't show it too much because it's kind of glued around here on my good yourself uh, book stat. Where it's actually holding a couple of books and a lot of games. Uh, see, this is uh, this is homemade, holding the micro. Ah, there you go. Holding the microphone. I actually use scrap wood to do this, and uh, a lot of the things that I've been doing, and it's because I've learned it by myself, fixing things around the home, 
uh, fixing a lot of shit, it's because of this. It's how uh, it's it's how you learn things when your necessi necessity strikes and you don't have the monetary condition or you don't know anybody who can do it. So you do it by yourself. You learn. And that's exactly what is a good parenting. You go on and teach the kid to think for themselves. And what that's what John Roderick did. He, he told her, I'm obviously joking with him, actually um, breaking the head together with her. And, uh, you know, thinking with both of them, thinking like he knew how to do it, obviously. But he was acting like he didn't know. And they had fun together. But apparently this was too much for this idiotic writer who gets everything handed to her in a silver platter which is pretty much the basic of any sjw because when you have everything handed to you you don't you don't wait you don't do any any effort you have no effort you you don't know how much it costs you how much effort it takes to do something so you don't you don't put value on it and that's where we get the participation trophies we get people getting offended over anything and everything so it's pretty much the basic the basic mentality of sjw's so let's go on and read the article jackson wrote content creators uh, it used to be common folk who, folk wisdom to know to share your political beliefs for f not uh, not note it's not share your political beliefs for fear of losing fans how has the last four years changed that? Are you still afraid of losing fans? Ah. All right. In a follow-up, she wrote, Rel Relatedly, if you're okay with calling your audience of assholes, do you have a secondary revenue stream, Patreon, or is it just ad revenue? Uh, uh, oops. All right. Justina Ireland responded. Uh, the problem is, if you don't like my politics and my beliefs and my moral compass, you aren't going to like my books. So... Oh, sorry, sorry, I forgot to do her voice. Jesus, what an offense. I offended her by doing my normal voice. My apologies, my deepest, sincere apologies. Let me do her voice, okay? Quote. The problem is, if you don't like my politics and my beliefs and my moral compass, you aren't going to like my books. So let's go ahead and save every... Everyone was so tired. And <laughs> quote. She added in a subsequent tweet, quote. A plus, there's like an Amazon warehouse or Starbucks on every corner now. And I've had worse jobs, so you look. <laughs> and quote. Ireland's comments might sound familiar. It's the same advice that he, a chief creative officer, oh yes, um, they're mentioning Battlefield, Battlefield 5, in which they said, if you don't like it, don't buy the game. And that's exactly what people did. People did not buy the crappy game. So much so that it had a very short shelf life. Look at the disaster of the characters. Modern haircuts, uh, women holding, going the front lines, which you never saw, and a prosthetic arm with the functionality kind of like a normal arm. You wouldn't see that in World War II, even today. It's kind of difficult to get a prosthetic arm to even go or get even close to looking like a normal arm in functionality. And there we have it, folks. This is stupidity. And you get what you fucking deserve. Alright, uh, he concluded the nature of poor starting on marketing campaign. Ah, oh. didn't resonate strongly with them, whether there was further error. This is during the, uh, the launch period for Battlefield 5, which was disastrous. But even more so, this is quite interesting because Star Wars is kind of getting fucked in the butt. Because after the D uh, Disney trilogy is fucking up quite badly, with people actually actively hating the trilogies that Disney made, it used to be the, pre uh, the, the prequels. 
But uh, even those, even those are miles, miles, miles better than the shitty stuff that Disney cooked up. And people are rightfully so upset. And then we get shit like this. With people calling for, uh, calling for censorship, for calling for others, and even attacking the main demographic that made Star Wars what it is today. And what do they do? You know, it's completely fine, guys. Mm. These people don't like their their IP, they don't like uh, Star Wars, they don't like anything like that. They just get in for the money and to ruin another hobby for us, the geeks. I fucking hate this. And I think what Sophia Nar Narwit said, and I will resonate her argument, that we should definitely gatekeep and keep these people out of our hobbies, before they ruin our shit even more. With that being said, thank you for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and hit the notification bell button if you absolutely want more of this, talking about that, oh here it is, here's your reward for listening to me for 11 minutes, oh sorry. Much better. Especially because now it's a bit more breathable because I'm in the middle of Satan's butt cheeks. And Swamp Ass is Democrat level. Anyway, with that being said, good night.